Welcome to Tally Learning Hub. In this session, you'll learn about Daybook and things you can do for managing day-to-day -day business transactions. By listing all the transactions made in a day, Daybook helps you to stay on top of your financial activities. To view Daybook, press Alt plus G for GoTo. Here is an interesting thing about GoTo. It's quite common to refer to the same report with different names. Tally Prime understands the need and allows you to discover the report even when you search with the different terms. You can search Go Down Summary as Warehouse Summary, Location Summary, or Day Book as Daily Entries, and so on. Select Daily Entries. Let's see another way to navigate to Day Book. Press Escape. From Gateway of Tally, press D for Display More Reports. Again, press D for Daybook. Here, you can see all the transactions recorded on the current date. To view transactions of another date, click F2 for date and mention the date. If you wish to view all the transactions made for a certain period, let's say from 1st February 2020 to 31st March 2020, click on the arrow next to F2 date. Click on Alter plus F2 period. Mention the date range from 1 to 2020 to 31 3 2020. To quickly change period, use the shortcut key Alt plus F2. Now let's say you want to view only payment transactions in the daybook. Press F4, change voucher and select payment. This way, you can easily filter the transactions belonging to a particular voucher type. Press Alter plus F5 for a detailed view of transactions listed in the daybook. If you like to add more details, let's say you want to see the mode of payment and check number. Press F12 and set Show Mode of Payment to Yes. Now you can see the bank details for all the bank-related transactions. To close the detailed view, Press Alter plus F5. To view the exceptions in the daybook, press Ctrl plus J for exception report. Using this, you can quickly view the optional vouchers, cancelled and postdated vouchers. Next, we are going to learn about the options which will be handy for recording and managing day-to-day -day transactions. You can duplicate voucher to account the recurring transactions like rent expenses, in which all the details except the date remains the same. To duplicate the voucher, bring the cursor to the voucher you want to duplicate. Here, I want to duplicate the payment transaction recorded for rent. Press Alt plus 2. Press F2 to change the date and Ctrl plus A to save the voucher. Next options we'll be learning is how to add voucher and insert voucher. It's natural that sometimes we miss to record a transaction and discover it later. You can easily handle it using Add or Insert option. This not only helps you to account, but also to manage the transaction sequence and numbering. Add Voucher will add the voucher right below the one you have selected and Insert Voucher will add above the selected voucher. I am pressing Alter plus A to add a voucher. Mention the details and save the voucher. Now, you can see the new voucher is added right below the voucher we had selected. To cancel the details of the voucher, while voucher still stays to keep voucher numbering intact, press Alter plus X from the voucher you wish to cancel and press Y. In any case, if you wish to remove the complete transaction, you can delete it by pressing Alter plus D. To remove the vouchers temporarily from the report, press Ctrl plus R to remove and press Ctrl plus U to restore. You can select the multiple vouchers by pressing space bar on the voucher you want to select and perform bulk actions such as cancel, delete and remove. There are many more options available on the top and side menu for ease of managing day-to-day -day business transactions. Here is a quick recap. Alt plus F2. Change period to view transaction for a given period. 
F4. Change voucher type to view transactions belonging to a voucher type. Add additional information using F12 configurations. Duplicate, add, insert, cancel and delete voucher from daybook.